Okay, so far we have learned to test a single mean population and a single mean um, population proportion. Now we're trying to test the difference between two population means and we will be keeping going with two population proportions, maybe three weeks later. Uh, it will take uh, much more time for two population means, maybe four weeks it will take us. Um, the difference since you, you see, we're testing the difference. So we need to differentiate the population means and establish the hypothesis. So let me show you how we establish the hypothesis to perform such um, testing. So it could be uh, the first one, the null hypothesis could be mu one um, equals uh, mu one um, is less equal. Um, let me just have the left sided. For the left sided, mu one is greater or equal to mu two or mu one minus mu two greater or equal zero. The alternative could be H one mu one less mu two or mu one minus mu two um, less than zero. So this is Basically, we can call it left-sided or left tail, left-sided or left tail. The second one, remember we established was right tail. So the direction will be the opposite of this one. I'm gonna copy this. Yeah, there you go. I'll delete the, the sign, comparison sign on this right. Just a moment, please. Can I ask you just for a minute, because the door, I'll have to open the door now, just in 30 seconds. Okay, delete this, all this stuff here. Okay, I'll write it myself. Having difficulty in writing H null is mu one less equal mu two or mu one minus mu two less equal zero. And the alternative could be mu one greater than mu two or mu one minus mu two greater than Let's take a moment, please. Okay, I'm back. So this is right pay, right sided. or right tail. And the final one, the other one, 
would be the null hypothesis. We establish it as equality, mu one equals mu two, or mu one minus mu two equals zero. The alternative, mu one is not equal to mu two, or mu one minus mu two is different from zero. So this double-sided, two-tailed, or two-tailed two tailed hypothesis. To test such hypothesis with alpha level of significance, okay. to test such hypothesis, is alpha level of significance. Um, there are some conditions. The first one is, Um, when um, sigma one square and sigma two square are known, if sigma one square and sigma two square are known, then the test statistics um, the test statistic may be given as follow. The test statistic we can use to test such hypotheses. is as follows. Okay, the test statistics, it's also, we're using that calculated statistics. Um, this time we have two means. So X bar, X1 bar minus X2 bar, we divide by sigma one square divided by N one plus sigma two square divided by N two. Okay, this is the calculated statistics where X one, X one bar and X two bar are the sample means. The, the, the two different sample means. Sigma one square and sigma two square are the two different population variants. Variances and one and in two and in two are the two different sample sizes. 
Okay. So once you perform the calculation of this statistics, um, you do compare the critical value we have presented earlier, maybe in the previous week lecture or the first week lecture also. So I presented you probably, yeah, there it is. Those critical value, I'm gonna copy them because I'm using those critical value as well. So we're also using such critical values for this. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Um, we also use the same critical values. We have used before. Before from the Gaussian distribution table. Okay. Okay, uh, the way how we tested the hypothesis will be the same. We use the same procedure as we did before. No difference. Um, the same procedures apply. Procedure. Applied. Whether to reject them now. Let's have an example. Let's publish, fabricate an example. I'm going to fabricate one example myself. Okay. Um, are we a researcher claim that um, the mean the mean GPA of female students at Autolum University is greater than those male students is of Atalum University. We test such claim He randomly select twenty five males and twenty one females and 
calculate um, each mean for both genders. Okay, mm -hmm. X1, X1 bar is, let's say, this is male. For the male students, the, the mean, uh, let's say this is 2.73. And for female, X bar equals, let's have beneath the subscript as F, M, or you could um, present one and two, no difference. It's just a name. The female, the main female, mm -hmm. the main GPA for female um, is, let's say, 2.79, let's say. Okay. So basically, when you see the mean, the average for male is uh, the mean GPA, uh, academic GPA is smaller, it looks like, but is this enough is there any enough evidence can we just really uh, tell for sure that the male students are uh, having less gpa from from the result uh, that's not the case we cannot tell from uh, the sample means so you have to test it statistically to see whether there is a significant difference so and the alpha level let's say the alpha level is 4.05 level of significance. Let's say this is given. And assume that from previous years, the variances. Uh, um, say 0 0.02 and 0 0.015 respectively. Okay. Is there evidence, okay, the question is, is there evidence to tell that um, the females, female students, students there is told that these female students are more successful that's the question or you can tell um, is there evidence the male students are less successful so you can build, establish the hypothesis in both ways. It won't make any difference. But the, the problem is if you establish the hypothesis as a right-sided, you have to place the critical value on the right. If you establish it as a left-sided and you will um, have the critical value on the left. Let's try to um, establish the hypothesis as left-sided. It's easy to, to establish as left-sided for this one. Okay. So before we present the given result, let's establish the two hypotheses. So always establish the alternative hypothesis because we know what the claim is. So the claim is female students are more successful or male students are less successful. So let's say me 
female, um, females are greater, or let's say males, we'll establish from left-sided, males are less successful than females. Or you could also present the hypothesis as mu male minus mu female is less than zero. And the, uh, the null hypothesis will be in the opposite direction. So this one, mu male greater or equal mu female, or mu male minus mu female is greater or equal to zero. So the alpha level of significance is given as 0.05. The alpha 0.05, the critical value. So since this is a left-sided hypothesis, the critical value will be a neg negative, will have a negative sign to be on the left side. So for 0.05, look here, 0.05, the critical value is 1.645. This is 1.645. Okay, what else we have? We have the means and the sample, the, the population standard, uh, the population variances. X bar male is 2.73. And X bar for females are 2.79. Okay. Um, the variances sigma one square is 0 0.02. Sigma two square is 0 0.015. And N1 is 21, 25. So I will have. This is not one. Okay, and I will also change the subscripts as well. So N male is 25, sigma square male, sigma square female. Okay, and female is 21. Okay, nothing left. I can easily perform the calculation of the Z statistics. Copy this. There you go. So this is the calculated statistics. I can easily perform such calculation. I will substitute for in place of X1 bar. Um, X, so I will, uh, Modify this because I'm using the subscript male, female. I'm gonna have male or female. This is male, this is female, male, male, female. Okay, there you go. I modified it. So the, the result would be easily calculated by substituting whatever we need. X1, X male bar is 2.73 minus 2.79. And this is divided by 0 0.02. That's divided by 25 plus 0 0.015 divided by 21. Okay, this is within the square root. Um, you can also perform the calculation. You can tell me the result of this. I'm trying to do it myself. If you find the result, uh, you just uh, tell me your answer. You can uh, just check whether we have the same results.
And my result is minus 1.5495. I rounded the, the last digit. Uh, it was eight, the last digit, because the next digit is six. So it will be rounded to 954, 19. Did you get the same result as me? Or do you perform such calculation with me at the same time? Are you there? Halloween? Yeah, we have some. Um, yeah, we are now many actually in the castle. I don't know whether you're following properly. Okay, this is my result. You try to work out yourself all and see the result. Uh, this is minus 1.5419. Um, the critical value is. I'm mistaken because it's, this is left-sided. I'll have to have it with negative sign. This is equal minus 1.645. So I'll place it within um, the critical, on, on the left critical region. So, okay, this is the Gaussian display picture. So I'll place the, the critical value on the left. So it'll be somewhere here, most probably. And this is reject the null. This is 0 0.05. And that's one minus one point six four five. This is the area where you cannot reject the null hypothesis, and this is all point ninety five. The area, the whole area, do not reject the null in this area. Okay. So in our case, the result is simply fallen within the right side in the area. You will not reject the null hypothesis. So it is somewhere here. Yeah, there you go. Okay, the result is it, it's simply for right here, five, four, one, nine. Okay, that's the result. So since minus one point five, four, one, nine is falling. Outside the reject tree, reject part. We do not reject the null hypothesis. With alpha or point zero five level of significance. Okay, so it means, um, in other words, there is no evidence to say that the females 
or the males are less successful. The male students are less successful Okay, so this is uh, the interpretation you can make in the end. And there's also another thing, um, the conference interval. Uh, 100 times one minus alpha percent confidence interval for two population from mu one minus mu two. Yeah. So this easy, uh, you can follow the same path as we did and previously lecture to establish the confidence interval. So there, there you go, this is x1 bar minus x2 bar minus the critical value z1 minus alpha divided by two and times sigma one square divided by n1 plus sigma two square divided by n2, this is within the square root. Okay, this is less equal mu one minus mu two is equal. Okay, copy this, paste this here. Okay. This is a plus, you have plus only, you have per bone, that's the difference. So let's try to establish, establish a 95% confidence interval for mu one minus mu two mu male I need to pick up this phone call and just say okay I will answer later because I have limited time to end up the lecture. Okay, establishing 95% confidence therefore the mean difference mu m minus mu f for the previous example. I need really to pick up the phone call. Hello. Evet,
Okay, may I ask you to have a break? Uh, this is a compulsory break. I need to have it. I will uh, just shut down now. Uh, I will unsit the session. I'll be back in within 10 minutes. Would that be okay? Tamam, Okay.